This is going to be an update on my Dynamis Alliance Blade. So there's a few things that I forgotten to mention and then this is just going to be how it's progressing as I've been carrying it and the wear on it. Uh, one of the first things you might see is the clip. It is getting a little bit worn but the function is still good. This retains really well on my pant line. Uh, I've been carrying this as close as I can to the button and zipper on my pants, canted and in reverse grip. I found that that carries pretty well like that and I haven't really had any problems carrying it. The it has an option where you can tuck your shirt into the clip and then you, you don't see actually here let me get a so if you take your so if this is clipped onto your pants the front part here and then you tuck your t-shirt in the back here that's that's all that's showing the the sheath and everything is um, is tucked in to your waistline so that clips the only thing that shows so if you have a belt that covers it pretty much um, I found though that it does my pants sometimes will ride lower and that clip will show so if you do tuck your shirt in that's that might be a concern for you or something to be aware of the the retention on the sheath the live blade it's not too bad yet the trainer is getting pretty bad though also on the inside of the the sheath there right here and right here is getting worn from the the knife drawing and the blade is also getting duller from that uh, let me see the jumping on here well one thing that I noticed it's very small but the handle doesn't line up flush right here so there's a little notch that shows I don't know if they're all like that but that's something that is very minute but it is there and then the other jumping on the back here this snags really really bad so the intention from my understanding is so if there's a if there's a hand you can bypass that hand or hook it and then you can follow up with other techniques uh, but when you actually stab into something the the penetration is fine but then to actually retrieve your knife it gets caught up pretty bad and it'll take it'll even take the knife out of your hand if you're not gripping it hard enough uh, if if this was sharpened all the way to the back though I I don't think that would be good because your hand right here could get cut 
So maybe if they just didn't have these, or if it could be an option. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not the first person to notice this. Um, at, I have also been to one of Ed Manifesto's classes, and that was brought up in our class. Um, I didn't have one of these at that class, but I've been using the using some burlap bags and cardboard for testing, and uh, it it's good to test your gear. Uh, this is another blade that I've been currently using and testing, and this is pretty straightforward. There's no resistance on this, the choil here, and this pin could snag, but uh, it doesn't have as much as this blade does. Another knife that I've been training with is this uh, cheap Walmart kitchen knife, and I put a piece of paracord on it. But this is also very bad because it's got these serrations and they snag in the materials. So serrations and jimping I've been finding don't don't work the best. So like the razor back they have and the other serrated versions. I would imagine they would be worse than worse off than this knife even because it's just another thing to kind of get caught up in the fabric or uh, material. Uh, another point that was made at that class was that the tip of this um, stabbing into a dead pig that they had there um, to test our blades on. The tip got deformed and I've seen several others that have just snapped off. I'm not, I'm not sure what that was from. If they were, if they stabbed into something and were prying with it or what, but uh, it is, it's happened more than once I've seen. Uh, So, uh, on to the, or back to the sheath, they had offered a limited edition, Dynamis Alliance had offered a limited edition orange sheath, and it was the same exact material as this, from what I had seen, it's this plastic, and again, it wears like that. Uh, there's a company called Blade Rigs, and they can make a very similar sheath to this, where it can be ambidextrous, and they can do the sheath in Kydex, and they can do the front one color, and they can do the back a different color, or they can do uh, pretty pretty much anything you can think of for colors uh, if they have it in kydex uh, another thing that they can do is make a training knife so this has uh, one solid piece of aluminum for a training knife the people at blade rigs they can do a piece of aluminum or steel, I'm not sure what. And then they can put a G10 or micarta. So it looks very similar to this. And I, I would think it would be an upgrade compared to the aluminum trainer. If that's, if this is a knife that you're going to be carrying. Uh, the Dynamis Alliance company, they also have 
a blue training knife which is a bit cheaper so I think this one was 50 when I bought it and I think the blue ones are $30 but uh, yeah they're just a few options you can have or a few upgrades if you want to look into them or uh, I also forgot to mention the the people at Blade Rigs they can do a a deep carry where the sheath would be up to about here and the clip would also be around here so it'll carry deeper in your pant line and uh, it'll be easier to conceal. I don't know how they carry, but I've seen a few photos on Instagram of them. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps you guys. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.